How often do we wonder why organizations and agencies that help people aren't doing more of it? Well, maybe they're trying to no avail. BC Housing was willing to kick in $2.4 million in capital funding and then $215,000 operating money a year for a 21-unit apartment building in downtown Abbotsford on land already owned by Abbotsford Community Services. Sounds like a great idea. Well, City Hall said no. Why? Well, it has to do with the zoning. At least that's the official answer. We asked Mayor Bruce Banman to join us tonight, but he was in Victoria for the budget and is unavailable. Here's part of a news release that his office was sending out today. It says, Council is committed to finding the right solution for social housing in Abbotsford, but after hearing the public's voice and having time to reflect on the impact of these zoning changes, Council has decided this particular amendment was not appropriate for the neighbourhood at this time. And joining us now for more on this, Nadine Power, who's the operations manager for Abbotsford Community Services. Thanks for being here. Thank you. And she's brought along with her Rod Santiago, the executive director. Glad you could join us. Thank you. What went down at council last night? Well, we heard the public's voice and what we heard over the several months now is thousands of people, thousands of people in the community who have galvanized and said, that we care about the homeless and we want this to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, the mayor also said that we heard directly from more than 90 people. We heard that proposed rezoning wasn't the right fit. Uh, this is an area that is zoned for businesses. It's really the downtown core of Abbotsford, is it not? It is, but that we've been in downtown core for over 45 years. You have your office zone. building there, Our right? main buildings, programs and services. Mm -hmm. And this is where you were going to build this unit? directly behind our main buildings, mm -hmm. correct? So, I mean, it's like a no-brainer, slam dunk. You've got the land, you've got BC housing on side. Mm -hmm. That's a bonus in and of it's itself, is it not? It absolutely. So, what happens now? As of now, the project is closed, the money is gone, we'll go to another community, and so it's done. Kaput, finished. Mm -hmm. 21 units, you were gonna house 21 20, men. 20 men. 20 men. 20 men, plus a caretaker on site. Mm -hmm. Um, for two years and then another 20 men after that and another 20 men after that for right. 60 years. Right. The reality is the men will still be on the streets and there will be no housing for them. Mm -hmm. uh, figure me this, <laughs> how, how can they with zoning uh, determine where people live? Well, this, the zone that we're talking about here was put in place in order to redevelop the downtown, historic downtown area. Mm -hmm. And it's done a good job. And we're part of that. We're part of that business community. Um, but a healthy community requires more than just businesses. It requires social services. And it requires change as the demographics change. The homeless people are there. Would it not be better to house them mm -hmm. and provide services to them? Are there than some leave residents? Them on the are there some residents living in this in this zone in this area, oh, or is it all businesses? Oh, absolutely. No, there's so there's, oh, residents. there's residences. Yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. There's apartment buildings. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to play a clip of uh, Councillor Henry Braun because he is actually somebody who thought this was a good idea. Mm -hmm. Have a listen to uh, Abbotsford City Councillor Henry Braun. I voted in favor of the proposal uh, because it's something that this city desperately needs. We have been pleading with the provincial government since 2005 for money to help towards the homeless. The province came to the table. We entered a process with BC Housing. Everybody followed that process. And at the end of the day, we turned our backs and walked away. And I cannot for the life of me understand what we did last night. So you had half of City Council uh, in agreement and the other half not. Correct. Did you spend much time talking to them, lobbying them, trying we, to convince them that this was a good idea? We met with all of them, as we did with the other stakeholders in the community, including the Downtown Business Association. Um, we engaged uh, the city, the city staff. We were involved all the way along. So this has been a relatively expensive process in and of itself. There's been a lot of work that's gone into this. We want to commend the four councillors who did a lot of homework and put a lot of time into to visiting sites that work in other communities, into looking at what works and what doesn't work, and who, based on best practices, based on empirical evidence, found out that this is something that's going to work.
Mm -hmm. One of the organizations that really was not interested in having this uh, facility built was the Abbotsford Downtown Business Association. Tina Stewart is the executive director. She's been relatively vocal about her thoughts on this uh, facility in that core area. So have a listen to what she was saying today. Uh, well, the objection specifically is the rezoning. The zoning was created specifically to fix up this area, and after nine years, it's proving to be very successful zoning. So why tamper with that now is in question, and to set that precedence, you know, what is next? And we already have 15 facilities in this small area. We have way more than our share. This is a citywide issue. The homeless people that you see in the area now those numbers have dramatically increased since this proposal was put on the table. So it sounds like there's a concern of if you build it, they will come, meaning you will draw more homeless people to Abbotsford. Supportive housing is happening all across this province very successfully. Why would this be any different? When you house someone and you give them services, you actually help them to become contributing members of society. Mm -hmm. The number of homeless people have not dramatically increased in the downtown core since this issue has happened. I challenge the executive director of the, of the ADBA to be realistic about the issues that she's been talking about. I challenge her to not just be talking about false issues, but to actually be addressing real issues of homelessness, not to just talk about issues, but to join the issue, to join the fight about making homelessness end in the in Abbotsford. We have to leave it there. We're out of time. Rod Santiago, Executive Director of the Abbotsford Community Services, and Nadine Power. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thanks, Jill.